Hi folks, co-tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. Welcome to Kotlin Fundamentals and we will continue to explore inheritance in Kotlin. In the previous video, we wondered if we are not sure what should be the implementation of a particular functionality in a super class, can we avoid giving the implementation of that particular functionality? So in this case, for the functionality of make sound in animal class, it doesn't really make sense to give the definition of this particular functionality in this class. So to do that, we use the concept of abstract classes. So as name indicates, abstract means something which is not very clear or well defined. So what we intend to do now is we want to declare animal class as abstract class so that we can avoid giving the implementation of some of the functionalities. I can just declare abstract keyword in front of the class definition. There is no need to even use the word open because when you declare a particular class as abstract, that by default becomes open for extension. And unlike in Java, a Kotlin abstract class can have a concrete functionality. When I say concrete functionality, a well-defined functionality. But that is not the intention. We converted this class into abstract class. So we will declare this particular make sound also as abstract function and just remove the definition. Now with abstract class, you cannot create a new instances of that particular class. What do I mean by that? So I cannot write animal because abstract classes cannot be instantiated. However, I can create a reference variable which is of type abstract class and assign it with concrete class which implements that abstract class through the whole hierarchy. So going back, you may even choose to decide that you don't want to give the functionality of make sound in the wild animal. So once again, you can just declare that as abstract class and just remove whole botheration. And once again, you cannot create a instance of wild animal because it is an abstract class. However, you can create an instance of say tiger, which is subclass of wild animal. And how do you override the functionality? It still pretty much remains the same. You have to still write override keyword and the name of the function and go on to give the implementation of that particular function. In Kotlin, abstract class can even have an abstract property. What do I mean by that? Well, I can create a abstract property or instance variable called as animal, which is of type string. And this is perfectly fine. Now the thing is, this particular variable needs to be initialized somewhere in the hierarchy of the classes. So in this case, you can see here that the class domestic animal is giving me a compilation error. One is you can implement the members. It will give you the auto suggestion. You can select that. And this gives basically the default implementation of the overriding of that abstract variable animal type. And you can give a value here. So here it would be say domestic animal or if you don't want to do that, there is another way to solve this as a part of the class definition itself. That is override val animal type. This also does the same thing. I can pretty much do the same here. That is override val animal type. But now going back here, I will have to change the class definition everywhere else. In case of dog, dog extends domestic animal, which is a properly implemented class that extends this abstract class animal. In this case, we will have to do it slightly different. So once again, it would be override val animal type string and then pass that animal type along in the constructor of domestic animal. Once again, the same thing holds true. We will have to pass along the animal type here and then just write tiger and let me override the functionality of make sound in the tiger. So I can write this dot animal type makes roaring sound. When I run this, I basically get the response as tiger makes a roaring sound. And I can pretty much do the same for dog and cat makes 
purring sound. So when I do this cat and run this cat makes purring sound. Let's also explore a scenario wherein you have a particular property which is an abstract property from the super class and also you want to have your own property say for example for a cat or for a domestic animal it would be nice to have pet name so I can just declare val pet name which is of type string and whenever I create a dog I need to send the pet name so val pet name and pass along the pet name and as you can see here since pet name is used in the super class that is domestic animal if I use the same pet name variable here I need to use override it once again gives me a compilation error saying that make domestic animal pet name open so if I select that and go back to the domestic animal basically it modified the pet name into a open property type so you can create open functions and open properties so that you can override them in the subclasses so going down here I can pretty much do same with cat override well pet name which is of type string and then pass along the pet name and when I create a class of cat let me also pass along a pet name say kitty and when I invoke make sound let me use this dot pet name makes purring sound because it is a cat so animal type and now let me run this so you can see that kitty makes purring sound because it is a cat I can pretty much copy the same thing here and if I pass a dog animal type would be a dog and pet name would be say Jimmy and let me run this you can see that Jimmy makes purring sound definitely wrong so it would be barking sound let me fix that and you can see that it makes more sense now so so far what we have covered in this video is how to create a abstract class and what it means to create an abstract class you can have abstract functions and you can have even abstract variables and then what it means to override an abstract function it pretty much looks like old fashioned overriding of an open function from the super class and then we have seen how to pass along the values from the subclass to the super class regardless of whether those properties are abstract properties from the super class or their own properties in the current class so we will stop here in the next video we will just continue to explore inheritance from various other facets as well so stay tuned that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye